In this video, we are going to discuss the stability of monosaccharides that include glucose, galactose, and fructose. These two are both representation of the same compound glucose. This is the open chain Fischer projection, and this is the Howard projection of glucose. More than 99% of the time, the molecule of glucose, it is going to be found as a cyclic hemiacetal. Upon reaction between the carbonyl and one of the hydroxyl groups, the molecule of glucose will exist as a mixture of two different isomers. In organic chemistry, we look at the reaction between the family of aldehydes and alcohols in the presence of a hydrochloric acid catalyst to produce an intermediate hemiacetal. This was an equilibrium reaction. We said that the hemiacetal was unstable and it was going to continue reacting to produce an acetal. The same reaction also takes place with the family of ketones in which a ketone can react with an alcohol to produce a hemiacetal that in the presence of an acid catalyst will continue to produce an acetol or ketol. A similar reaction can take place with the family of carbohydrates because they will contain both the aldehyde group and also an alcohol group to produce a cyclic stable hemiacetol. We have seen in the organic chemistry part that an aldehyde that at the same time has the alcohol group can react with itself when the conditions are created to produce a cyclic hemiacetol. And we define a hemiacetol as a carbon that contains an OR and an OH. In similar fashion, the formation of a stable cyclic structure of glucose is the reaction between the hydroxyl group on carbon number 5 with the carbonyl group, carbon number 1, to form a cyclic hemiacetol. Enzymes catalyze the formation of the cyclic hemiacetol because the carbonyl is a flat 120 degrees structure. The OH from carbon number 5 can approach from the top of the overall plane or from the bottom, producing two different anomers. The product of reaction of oxygen on carbon number 5 with the carbonyl, which is carbon number 1 of glucose, will produce a hemiacetol, which is defined as the carbon that has an OH and also has an OR. This is a six-member ring called a piranose. The product is 36% of the time with the OH below the overall plane, alpha anomer, and 64% of the time with the OH above the overall plane, beta anomer. The interconversion between the alpha anomer and beta anomer is defined as muta rotation. Is the interconversion between the alpha anomer that goes through the open chain to become the beta anomer. The reaction between the hydroxyl on carbon number 5 of fructose and the carbonyl, carbon number 2, will also produce a cyclic stable structure. But in this case, that will be a five-member ring, which is called a furanose. Ribose is another monosaccharide that will be stable in the form of a furanose. The products are the alpha anomer, when the OH is below the overall plane, and the beta anomer, when the OH is above the plane. This is a summary of the stable structures of glucose and fructose. Glucose are forming pyranoses, which are six membrane that resemble the structure of pyran, it has an oxygen here, and they are 
glucopyranoses because they are glucoses alpha when the OH is below the plane and beta when it is above the overall plane. For fructose, the most stable structures are furanoses, alpha when the OH is below, beta when the OH is above the overall plane, and they resemble the five-member ring ether of furan.